Friday and it's like five o'clock. We are heading out with the kids. Hi. We thought we would do hi um, dinner tonight and a Sam's Club trip. Maybe a Target trip as well. We'll see. Dinner and Sam's Club for sure. We need a few things from Sam's Club. Um, so I thought I'd bring y'all along for our weekend. Um, we're gonna go, yeah. So I thought I might do a little shop with me in there as much as I can. Um, we're gonna go eat Outback. Outback sounded good and we take the kids out back. So we're gonna go eat dinner out back, go to Sam's Club. So come on for a weekend. So we ended up taking the kids to Outback and it is always one of my favorites because I feel like I can eat like on plan here. I love their steak or even their grilled chicken. And then I love their fresh mixed veggies. Norman, most of the time they cook them really well or even like a baked potato there. I just love it. So we ended up getting um, a blooming onion as well always yummy and then we went to sam's club i thought this sectional was such a good price and it was pretty comfy i gotta admit i sat on it very briefly we got some um laundry detergent ran grabbed this one and then we realized it's not the right one so we grabbed this one um grab laundry detergent we always come to sam's to get our staples that we go through very quickly like laundry detergent toilet paper paper towels and things like that but then we also ended up getting a couple, a few more things. So Ethan loves um, these breakfast sandwiches. He, they were on sale, so he ended up getting two of them. Um, he, every time we come here, when he remembers, he always gets these. These are his favorite for breakfast in the morning. And then they had Halloween costumes out. We briefly glanced at those. And then y'all, this mama sweatshirt, I'm going to share it on later, is so comfy and I loved the colors on this I'm telling y'all $15 you need to run to Sam's and grab that and then if you're going to, to Disney anytime soon I wish I was they had lots of different Mickey Minnie and a few other characters and I really liked these sets too if y'all have these let me know um, how they fit but they had like matching joggers and like um, long sleeve tops and these pajamas I grabbed these green ones you're gonna see them later and I am regretting not seeing it they had my size in the pink like if I go back this weekend to Sam's Club I am going or to in town to near a Sam's Club I am going to see if they have my size in those because they are the best pajamas and they were like eight dollars and something and then they also had a bunch of toys um, Christmas things so I thought I'd glance at those real quick we are home. You don't have water in it. <laughs> I want to show y'all a haul before we um, take everything out. I think Ethan put his. Oh, you can't see. Did we go get crumble? Yeah. I cut I couldn't. Um, it was dark outside. Yeah, Snickerdoodle. All right. So at Sam's Club, these were on sale, and when they're on sale at Sam's Club, I feel like they're a really good price. So went ahead and got two of those. Um, also at Sam's Club, we did get laundry detergent. Ethan got drinks. We got toilet paper, paper towels. We got what else did we get? Ethan's well, we breakfast this. sandwiches. Look, this. don't push your mouth on that, buddy. Um, yeah, that is actually from Amazon, not from Sam's. I feel like, are we missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, we got ten things. The other things are in the freezer. I did have to get this. This is so cute. I love the colors on this, so I couldn't pass this up for like 14, 15 bucks. And I got, yes, at Target I got syrup for my coffee, but I also got this at Sims Club. I couldn't pass up $8 for that. I'm gonna go put that on and try that on. Super soft, so. And then I did get some new makeup. I might try it tomorrow if I wear makeup tomorrow. Anyways, that's our Sims Club slash, literally Ethan did get something of some boxers or uh, boxers from Target. But that's literally it. That is our Sam's Club slash Target haul. Okay, my Sam's Club pajamas. I put them on and they are so cute. I don't have to draw on, so I'm kind of covering myself. But um, I kind of would. I don't, they didn't really have many sizes. They had like a couple pink ones left. But I wish I would have dug through and see if they had any pink ones because it is so comfy. Super, super comfy. Happy Saturday. We're going to get donuts. Me and Millie are headed out to get donuts yeah. this morning. This used to be our Saturday morning thing and it has been so long since we've done this. So we're gonna run into our little grocery store and grab donuts. They usually have lots of things to choose from. 
and then I'm gonna grab coffee out I got a coffee yesterday at my little local coffee shop and it was so so good that I was like I'm coming back in the morning to get one of those so I'm gonna go grab one of those and then I'm gonna grab Ethan some breakfast because he don't care for donuts while we're out as well also I am it is 63 degrees out I think is what my Alexa said I'm wearing my mama sweatshirt it is so comfy and so cute I love the color of this sweatshirt. I don't have anything this color, like a sweatshirt this color. So anyways, I love it so much. All right, we grabbed coffee. We got a, I got a sugar-free caramel iced latte made with skim milk and the cold foam on top. They, I was seeing what kind of cold foam they use because they don't make it, but it comes in like this, like it looks like a milk container, like a milk uh, jug. What do you call it? Like the cardboard container type thing. I don't remember. What do you call those? You know what I'm talking about. But I looked it up and I could order if I want. I can't remember what it's called at the moment. But the calories and all that is not bad in it. And like, a, but not a bunch of added sugar. Who lives in that I don't know who lives in that house. But it is so good that I am like so tempted to order this cold one. But anyways, grab a sugar-free caramel iced latte. Alright, I'm home. I'm going to try out I wasn't gonna wear makeup today, but I really wanna try this out and see what I think. So that way I know if I'm gonna wear it to church tomorrow. <laughs> see how I like it. Um, I hope it's my shade. I hope it's not a little bit, might be a little bit too dark for where today we don't have anything going on outside of the house. So at least as of right now, we don't. I'm gonna wet, I think I'm gonna put it on with a beauty blender. A lot of times I put my foundation on with my favorite Tarte brush and I love this foundation brush so much. Um, but I'm gonna try with the blender and then I may switch to brush. We're just gonna see how this does. So let's, um, I'm probably gonna change as well. I took a shower um, and then put this back on, but it is getting hot in here. Especially when we do, I keep dropping my beauty sponge. Especially when we're doing stuff around the house today. I don't know, I'm gonna, should I try it with this first? I don't know how much I need, so we'll, um, See how far this goes. All right, we're gonna see the coverage. We'll see how it wears. It's kind of hard for me to see it because I have my overhead light off, so it'll be better light in front of the camera. Um, so I can't tell. Let me turn it on. The camera lighting's not as good with that on, but I've got to be able to tell. Okay, I think the color is actually really good. And my battery's dying on here. And I've got a lot of redness. I think I have rosacea, but I've never been to a dermatologist to tell me that. <laughs> but I've got a lot of redness on my face. Um, well, I've been to a dermatologist. This has been a long time. Yeah, let me turn that off so y'all can tell a little better. I feel like the lighting is just not as good when I have that light on. But... Okay, I feel like it never comes off as good on camera either, at least until I get completely done with my makeup. So I'm gonna finish my makeup and then we'll kind of see what it looks like after everything's done. But I think the color's pretty good, as far as I can tell right now. Um, so let me finish it. But it is the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I got the shade 118. Um, so let me finish it. So far, so far I think it's pretty. Okay, first impression is I love it so far. I'm curious to see how it wears, but it literally covered like my redness so good. So for a long time, and I really love the It Cosmetic CC Cream, but it's like my skin just gets used to something and don't do as good with it. And like, and even like with a new foundation in the beginning, I'm like, oh, this is great, I love it. And then after a while, it may not be so great. But first impression, it is it's really pretty. <laughs> I hear the kids yelling. Um, Ethan's in there with them. But first impression is it's so pretty. Um, it looks really good. I've got that foundation. Then I also have, I love the dib stick. But I just got a new one. And I don't love the bronzer in this one as good. I, the, the shade 2 is the new one I got. And it's like kind of orangey looking. And 
but I'm almost pretty much out of the shade 1.5, but it's the bronzer that I prefer. This is like slightly darker, but it's not as orangey looking as the shade two. So between, and you probably can't even tell the difference, this is the one I like. Between the two, I like shade 1.5 the best, but I like the blush in the shade two better. Anyway, so I've got the as much as I could of the shade 1.5 out, and I also got their um, uh, brush last time I ordered from there as well. I don't know if I love it, but I'm still testing it out. I think I like it. Um, and then I've just got honestly my usual routine that I've shared before. I do need to put, let's do some lipstick though, because I don't know if I've shared this one. If I have, then, you know. But this uh, is Maybelline Color and Sensational Lip Liner in the shade 125 Mag Magnetic Magnetic Mauve. This is a really pretty combo. So I've got, you can come in. <laughs> um, I'm gonna line. It's hard doing this with no light above me. Probably didn't do that the best. Okay. Then, L'Oreal. A L'Oreal lipstick. I don't know what they're called. In the shade Fairest Nude. And this is such a pretty combo. It's like the perfect nude color. It kind of matches my sweatshirt, don't it? Anyways, it's so pretty. So, anyways, first impressions of the makeup. Two thumbs up so far. So we'll see how it wears throughout the day. And I'll keep y'all updated on how it wears. Honestly, every foundation I've ever tried like wears off at some point throughout the day. Even with like a really good setting spray. I'm not gonna use this today just to see, but even like the all nighter setting spray don't do the best for me. First impressions, if I compared the two so far, like first impressions of this versus how this has been wearing for me, I like this, how this looks better so far on me so we'll see do you think the makeup looks good mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> all right i'm gonna come in some light i don't know if that helped i was gonna share how this looks let me back up super pretty though i really like it so what's the temperature outside now it was 63 degrees this morning when millie and i headed out now it's 71 so it feels so good out there i think we're gonna get some stuff around around the house I think we're gonna clean out the garage. I'm gonna clean out my car. I'm not gonna wash it or anything because we just done that last week, but it needs to be all the trash and stuff out of it. And then just get some stuff done around the house. I made a quick lunch. This is my go-to. I eat this so much, especially when I need something very quick. I run to the grocery store. I grab a rotisserie chicken. I'll do some zucchini um, and yellow squash and I air fry it. I do some oil some salt and pepper and air fry it for a few minutes and it is so yummy i love a rotisserie chicken um just for an easy meal it is just the best i eat this so often um but i went to my kiddos rooms and i got them all picked up they weren't bad at all we've been really intentional about staying on top of these rooms uh, we got in here and did a really big clean in like the week a week or two before school started and we've been really intentional about every day making sure that they're cleaned right everything's put away like they're supposed to be so today they were um hadn't played in here a lot so i decided to get in here and get them cleaned back up
this is always my like little go-to spot to sit when I need some little bit of peace and quiet, a good lighting, and just to talk for a second. So, so I thought I'd chat. First of all, the makeup is still looking good. I feel like this camera is blurry. Okay, the makeup is still looking good. It probably does have a little bit. I was wearing my sunglasses. We went to the park earlier, and I was wearing my sunglasses, so that's probably. But overall, it's still looking really good. I'm happy with it so far. Um, but I did want to chat. I thought I'd chat. Um, I am making a change and I thought I'd talk with y'all about it and just kind of tell y'all about how I feel about it and all that. Um, so I have, I am almost eight weeks postpartum at this point. By the time you see this, I'll be eight weeks postpartum from losing our baby boy and giving birth to our baby boy. And over the last eight weeks, like since I came home from the hospital after losing him, um, I, like the day that we lost him when we came home, I have been eating a cleaner diet and um, kind of lower carb, cleaner um, than I used to. Um, just as clean as eating as I could. And over the last eight weeks, I really, honestly, for the most part, really stuck with that and gave it a really good try, um, which is what I felt like was best, which I want was what I wanted to do. I really wanted to do it to kind of help get my hormones in order. I thought eating cleaner, lower carb, um, I've noticed in the past it's really helped with hormones. Um, I feel like my hormones are just, just from giving birth are still just out of whack, um, just not right, um, which I'm sure it's going to take some time after you know, losing him and all that, but I was hoping by this point they would be like back in order and I don't think they are. Um, I don't know that for sure. Just kind of like the symptoms that I have and stuff. But anyways, I gave it a good eight weeks of eating cleaner. And even though I wasn't really seeing any progress, I still push forward. And, um, it's, I guess say, I guess I should say seen any progress on the scale. Um, I guess that's the only thing that I'm gonna like base that off of is like weight loss wise because it definitely could I'm sure it has helped hormone wise um, just the way I've been eating over the last eight weeks but as far as on the scale I have not hardly lost anything and um, it's been really discouraging but I just really wanted to push through with it and just give it a really good try so as of today I'm going back to Weight Watchers and following Weight Watchers, but also eating is clean, like cleaner than I used to on Weight Watchers, I guess I should say, but I feel like I need that guideline to help me hopefully continue to get my hormones in order, but also lose the weight to get back where I used to be before I got pregnant because I'm not there yet. And so I'm going back to Weight Watchers. So all the Weight Watchers content will come back. And, but like I said, I'm going to plan to follow Weight Watchers, but also kind of eat like I've been doing lately as well. And I'm just going to give it some time, um, try back Weight Watchers to kind of see if it um, kind of might help my hormones, just to kind of switch it up and see if I've noticed any difference. I gave it a really good eight weeks the other way. Now I'm going to give it some time this way and kind of see what, just how my body does. I've also noticed as far as weight loss, my body and weight loss and hormones are not the same as when I did Weight Watchers before Cal. Um, I lost a lot of weight with Weight Watchers after Cal, but then I kind of got to a point where I was kind of stuck and it was really hard to lose any more after that, which I was happy with where I was at, but I definitely wanted um, to feel a little bit better about myself and lose a little bit more. But I've noticed since um, probably over the last four, three or four years, my body is just not the same as far as losing weight and hormones as it used to be. And it's just, I'm getting a little bit older and I've just noticed it's truly not the same. So I thought I'd share that because I'll probably share some what I eat in day videos back on Weight Watchers and all the things um, and give Weight Watchers a good try again. And you know, I may go back to some, I might try something different um, after this. I'm just gonna kind of give this a try again. As of right now, at least. I may change my mind in a couple weeks and do something different, but just kind of doing what I feel like is best for me, and hopefully I'll be able to see a little bit more of a difference. But, 
all my kiddos are having a quiet having a quiet time i just got cal down for his nap and then the girls are having quiet time so that's what we're doing right now we did go to the park for a little bit this morning and let them play it felt so nice out this morning um and now i'm gonna have a little bit of quiet time too we've got a lot of stuff done today so far on and off camera so now i'm gonna have a little bit of quiet time as well we have been working on can you see it because of the lights setting my indoor garden up i'm gonna share more about that with y'all i'm so excited for it we're heading out to do, uh, grab some dinner we're gonna grab chick-a-fil-a Millie. Hi. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Check. It's in my house's Chick-fil-A. Sauces. <laughs> we save what we don't. We always use them. We'll put them in our fridge and eventually use them. But the big girls got chips and sandwiches. Cal got nuggets because he never eats any of his sides. Ethan got a sandwich. And he got fries. Millie's actually, she wanted a PB&J at home. She never eats Chick-fil-A the best. I got, it's been so long since I've got this. A grilled chicken sandwich. I'm going to do one of these on it. And I got the kale crunch side. Just got the kitchen clean. Ethan's outside with the kids. So we're doing our little nighttime routine. He's outside. I'm cleaning. Just turned our robot back on. I do this every single night. And then I vacuum the rug really well. I need to see if I can get that spot off that couch. Um, just cleaned up really great in here. And then also cleaned up this way as well. I'm gonna get the, usually when I run the robot vacuum, I do it in just the main areas every day. And then sometimes in the other rooms as well. I just paused the vacuum. Let me see if I can. I kind of want to, I want to show y'all the makeup update just so I can, uh, cause I talked about it so much this morning. Okay. So it is not as obviously as good as it was this morning. And there is some like redness. This is where it kind of shows through the most a lot or even my nose right here. But I will say it is no, it's honestly my ick cosmetic cc cream that i was using is no better than this one so i'm gonna keep using this one and maybe see if i could set it a little more because i didn't really set these areas um i just set my under eyes and maybe kind of just keep testing it that way but it was so beautiful this morning it still actually looks pretty good honestly i'm happy with how it looks still and normally if we're go if we're doing something in the evening time and I need to my makeup to look a little fresher, I'll usually just touch it up and it's totally fine. So honestly, this is pretty stinking good for the price. So I'm happy with it. But we're I'm gonna head outside with Ethan and the kids now that I'm done cleaning. I need to figure out what to do. Get all this stuff off the counter. I think there's like band-aids and kids' little notebook. I think there's a thermometer there. Not sure that why that's there. We hadn't used that. Um anyway, so I'm gonna finish that and then Get the kids a bath tonight. Tomorrow, um, we have a wedding to go to. Ethan's grandmother, um, everybody's grand. Our grand is getting married tomorrow. His grandpa passed away a few years ago and she's getting remarried tomorrow. And Ethan is walking her down the aisle. So it's so sweet. Um, he's the oldest grandson. And so he's the one walking her down the aisle tomorrow. So we have a big day for that tomorrow. So I'm gonna end this out. So I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for our weekend and Sam's Club shopping and taking the kids to dinner and getting some stuff done today. Hope y'all enjoy these types of videos. These are some of my favorite videos to make and they're so easy for me to make as well. Just bringing y'all along. So I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.